Sally's mother must also know about the jinx, but she has chosen not to tell Sally the truth, presumably in order to wait for the day of the bar mitzvah. For now, Sally will know everything except to put the girl in a panic. Now that Sally's mother has made her choice of her, Tonk, who has strong enemies of his own, will not reveal it. After a reassuring comment, Tonk held up his copy of the monster files to distract Sally and smiled. If you're sorry, maybe you could help me take notes in class. I've got other things to do. You know, no problem, said Sally at once. Dot dot dot. After school, Donkey gets the class notes from Sally and says goodbye to the girl. As the girl walked to her house from her, Donkey turned and left the campus. But he did not return to the brick house. Instead, he walked to a stop outside Briar High, looked at the sign for a moment, and finally settled on a red bus that had just arrived. It happened to be late afternoon, one of the most crowded times in Mirtha. Tonk sat in his seat of him, looking through the glass at the different landscapes of the strange and familiar city. It seemed to be a long bus route, and it quickly made its way through the wet, dirty Bronx to the next big block. Finally, the red bus pulls up to an old parking spot. When the bus left, the parking point was out of a young man's figure. Tonk walked slowly out of the parking spot, his hands empty, he seemed to be carrying nothing, and he looked curiously at the scene. Here, it seemed, was a place that had once been glorious. Old buildings, eleven busy factories, ornate bank buildings, sprawling urban areas. Although it looks mottled now, it is full of the vivid and warm atmosphere of the city at the beginning of prosperity. Still, after the fall, under the precipitation of time, it has become a fantastic sense of art. Donch knows what this place is. This is Newtown. Yeah, Mirtha had its day, too, if you like, in Michigan. And the glorious starting point in Newtown. Created by the pioneering adventurers. Gold diggers, pioneers, and robbers, they were also responsible for the mysterious and ferocious style of the state of Michigan. It has become a large, non-existent area, where only nostalgic residents artists and the like like to settle in search of inspiration or nostalgia because of its past glory despite its decline the rent here is costly as a result it's empty and thick but not nearly as crowded as the bronx that's one of the reasons donch chose this place tonight to use the mark of doom for the first time touch deliberately avoided the bronx where the weirdness was concentrated due to too many people and evil to prevent something terrible hopefully it won't let me down tonk said silently watching the faint beginning of a mark on the back of his hand.